Welcome to an all-new edition of God's Awesome Creation. Today, I want to look at the curious crayfish with you. The crayfish is one of God's remarkable creations. I've been fascinated with them since I was a young boy, and that's been a long time ago now. I first encountered crayfish on Tawas Lake in Northeast Michigan, where my family often vacationed. I remember sitting in an old boat on the shore along with my sister Roseanne and brother Bill, and I'd watch over the side of as the little crab-like creatures dashed about. And I remember trying to catch them, but they were faster than I was. Years later, I kept an aquarium with a few crayfish in it. They got to be fairly tame and would actually take finger or <laughs> take fingers, yeah, uh, would take food offered from my fingers. As a rule, crayfish are small, ranging between three to six inches in size, though I've, I've never seen a six inch specimen. <laughs> they are crustaceans, and if you had not noticed, they very much resemble a lobster in miniature. They occupy a wide variety of environments, such as various swift streams, some only in still waters, and still others in wet meadows or marshes, where they are known to dig burrows as deep as three feet um, underground, so as to reach the existing water table or level there. I've seen these burrows many times, and they're usually topped off with a hollow chimney, which is constructed of mud pellets removed from the digging. It always amazes me how God has put the knowledge into many creatures as to how to make their homes. I believe it shows his incredible love for all his creations. Crayfish have a very hard um, outer skeleton that is segmented on the legs and the tail. The skeleton is uh, molded or, mo excuse me, molted or replaced as the animal grows. The young crayfish may molt several times a year until they reach their full growth. It is not unusual to mistake these molted shell for a dead animal. The fre uh, fresh um, covering over a recently molted crayfish is quite soft, and until it hardens up, they are quite elusive, usually staying in hiding until the new skeleton hardens. The, front, uh, the two front legs of the crayfish end in pincher-like claws. They are used both securing uh, food and for defending themselves, and the, uh, the remaining legs are used for walking. One of the things that make them difficult for me to catch, or made them difficult for me to catch, is that they seldom, or that they swim or dart backwards and very quickly. The swift motion is motivated by a quick flap of their strong, flattened, and quite muscular tail. Often they leave in a cloud of sediment and silt. The crayfish is mostly a scavenger feeding on plants and animal debris. <clears throat> They will also eat insect larvae, snails, worms, and small fish. Burrowing species also eat the roots of plants. The crayfish falls victim to many predators that also share their environment. For example, fish, frogs, turtles, snakes, water birds, and very often raccoons. In general, the female will carry her eggs on the underside of its body rear where fresh water is kept flowing over them by waving the underside of their tail. Our Father God created everything for man to enjoy and to use. Crayfish boiled in hot water is a favorite food for many people, particularly in the uh, southern United States. The next time you are at lake or pond, watch the, uh, for them and take a short time to observe their behavior. Like me, I'm sure you'll find them to have been quite fascinating. Thanks for stopping by and have a great evening filled with God's many blessings.